somebody here for you. They say they just killed the Joker. They broke the body. So, dead? That's five hundred. How about a lie? Hmm? Shalom. I want to start off with giving our praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone while learning this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. And today, I'm going to entitle this lesson, Why So Serious? And the reason, you know, I'm entitling this lesson that is because, you know, I had a conversation with you know, this Edomite woman the other day, you know, she asked me, you know, why do I take life so seriously? You know, <laughs> you know, she was in that, that YOLO spirit, you know, we only live once, you know, and I reply, you know, we don't live just one time. You know, she understood that I was sitting that reincarnation, but overall, you know, she is stuck in that, you know, live in the moment type spirit. That yellow spirit, you only live once, live it up while you can. Like, no. That's, that's not the type of spirit I'm in. So, you know, I'm going to bring out a few scriptures. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. I'm going to start with the book of Revelation, chapter 18. I'm going to start at verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins that ye receive not her that ye receive not of her plagues for her sins have reached unto heaven and Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities and yes that her is referring to America aka Babylon the Great you know because her sins have reached unto heaven you know America is the wickedest nation in the world right now you know <coughs> <So like you. clears throat> because of the doctrines and the philosophy and Slaki and the doctrines and the philosophies that it pushes, you know, and that it promotes. So I'm going to break out the book of Luke. Chapter 17. I'm going to start at verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom and rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is, is revealed. So you know why she's asking me why, you know, I don't, why, why do I take life seriously is because we're in the time of trouble, you know, and I'm going to bring that out as well. 
know, because we're basically in a time of trouble. You know, Jacob's trouble is coming. You know, these Americans are so dumbed down. You know, the average person don't know or understand what's going on. You know, hell is about to befall this earth. Great tribulation is coming, you know, mainly to the nation of Israel, but ultimately throughout the whole earth. So, you know, she's asked me why, why, why do I take life so seriously? Because, you know, first and foremost, life isn't a game, you know, even though we are reincarnated. You know, we come back when that, when it's our time to come back, when the Lord gives us our judgment in the spirit world and sends us back on the earth to live out that judgment, whatever it may be, you know, that's where a lot of to. You know, this isn't a game like we're legit in one of the best, but also one of the worst times, you know, especially being here in America, because America is going to be destroyed soon, you know, because that's the one thing that a lot of people don't understand. The same thing that happened in the days of Noah. And in the days of Lot, it's the same thing that's going to happen today, you know, because that same generation that was alive during that time is that same generation that's back on this earth today, you know, when the Lord will return. So, again, I'm going to also bring out the book, you know, verse 32, remember Lot's life. So, you know, to any new brothers and sisters that may be, you know, that may be awakened to this truth, that may be new coming into this thing, you know, we can't be partakers of the judgment that's going to befall America, you know, because America is going to be destroyed. So we have to come out of Babylon spiritually, you know, not physically. We can't leave America, you know, physically. We can, but just understand that, you know, the Lord is going to be the one to deliver us. You know, when that destruction comes, Lord willing, will be a part of the elect. You know, because once he returns, you know, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the angels, they're going to deliver the elect before that destruction comes to America by way of the ICBM missiles. Henceforth, why America is going to receive that same judgment that Sodom and Gomorrah is going to receive because America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. And I'm going to bring that out. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified and yes we know why America is called Sodom you know because of the the alphabet community you know how it's highly praised here and promoted here in this land you know in Egypt because of the bondage, you know, because it represents hardcore slavery, because, you know, the nation of Israel, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but mainly the tribe of Judah, you know, we receive that hardcore bondage here in the, la in the land of America, you know. So she asked me, why do I take life so seriously? Because life isn't a game. Especially during this time that we're living in. And especially for Israelites. I'm going to break out the book of Micah. Chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And yes. This is not our rest. America is going to be destroyed. It is polluted. This is a polluted land. You know. And it's, you know, going to destroy you physically, mentally, physically, and spiritually. It's going to destroy you if you don't come out of this land, you know, if you don't come out of 
Babylon's spiritually, you know? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are learning this truth from. I'd like to say peace and salutations to the hopefully lick. Till the next time I say Shalom.